Singh. Our presiders, Reverend Father Marlon Reyes, SSS, please stand. The world in silence waits the day when hope shall sing its triumph if sadness be away. Here stay your haste. Come, come to earth, dispel the night and show. Hail the dawn of praise. O come, divine Messiah, the world in silence waits the day when hope shall sing its triumph and sadness be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we are now on the Thursday of the second week of Advent. We continue to prepare for the coming of the Lord. Let us now acknowledge our sins. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You will ascend to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Steer up our hearts, O Lord, to make ready the paths of your only begotten Son, that through his coming we may be found worthy to serve you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord your God who grasps your right hand. It is I who say to you, fear not, I will help you. Fear not, O worm Jacob, O maggot Israel, I will help you, says the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. I will make you a threshing sledge, sharp, new, and double-edged, to thresh the mountains and crush them, to make the hills like shaft. When you winnow them, the wind shall carry them off, and the storm shall scatter them. But you shall rejoice in the Lord, and glory in the Holy One of Israel. The afflicted and the needy seek water in vain. Their tongues are parched with thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open up rivers on the bare heights and fountains in the broad valleys. 
I will turn the desert into a marshland and the dry ground into springs of water. I will plant in the desert the cedar, acacia, myrtle, and olive. I will set in the wasteland the cypress together with the plane tree and the pine that all may see and know, observe and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this. The Holy One of Israel has created it. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is gracious and merciful slow to anger and great in kindness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. I will extol you, O my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Let them make known to men your might and your glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Amen, I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist. Yet, the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent are taking its force, are taking it by force. All the prophets and the law prophesied up to the time of John. And if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah the one who is to come. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. And good morning also to our brothers and sisters participating uh, with us through our live streaming. May the blessing, healing, and presence of Jesus be with all of you, wherever you are. It is already December 10. 10. 14 days. Ah, 14 days. Magalit ang matematisyan. 
15 days before Christmas. Anyway, <laughs> yesterday, um, I was talking to a student. A student. He's very, very happy. Very happy, very excited. Why? Because he said, Father, tomorrow it will be the start of our Christmas break. Wow, may Christmas break pa pala sila. No? Kahit online ang klase, may Christmas break pa din. So, so, starting tomorrow, sabi niya, they are on break from their online class. And you know, I can really feel his, uh, his happiness and excitement. That made me remember also my days when I was a student like him. Christmas break is, re is really a time um, we all excitedly wait. But during my time, I also, uh, I also use uh, the time during the break to attend retreats, especially when I was uh, in college. I take, uh, I take the time to attend retreats. In one of the retreats uh, that I attended as a student, I remember we were asked a couple of, uh, we were asked to name uh, persons who made great impact on our lives that led us to embrace our um, uh, our vocation. I remember mentioning, apart, apart from my parents, I remember mentioning my uh, priest friends who really inspired me to enter the seminary. I also remembered mentioning our catechists in our parish in Tondo, Manila na nagpupunta doon sa aming public high school to teach religion classes. I also remembered my college uh, teacher. During that time, teacher ko pa siya. Yeah. College ako na. Um, I remembered my college teacher in PUP, Professor Carol Bautista. I think uh, she is watching, no? Uh, Pagka may time yun, nanonood din sa atin. I am praying for her husband also. Get well soon. You know, in that, uh, in that retreat, I also men mentioned and remembered my co-journeyers during my search in days in the seminary and my uh, few close friends who always invite me to go to church on Sundays and on uh, whatever occasion that they believe we need to be present in the church. Those people, those names, what was common in all those significant persons in my life? The common thing is that they all led me to the one who called me to become a priest. They all led me to Jesus. They all have been instrumental in my choice to take this road less traveled. Today we heard of John the Baptist. What made John the Baptist great? So great that Jesus himself made an unprecedented compliment. Jesus is full of praise for John. He calls him greater than any person born so far. Probably, it was because of his role in the life of Jesus. 
But you know what strikes me, especially in John the Baptist, is his humility. Something that must have impressed Jesus profoundly. This man is so humble. John could have said, He is the Messiah. But he claims to be not worthy to undo that sandal straps of Jesus who is to come. His success with the crowds never went to his head. Dinudumog siya ng mga tao. Napaka-popular ni Juan Bautista. Sikat na sikat. But that popularity did not come to his head. Sumikat siya sa tao, pero hindi lumaki ang ulo. He never abused his being popular. And when he saw Jesus, he pointed at him and he said, Behold the Lamb of God. After saying that, he let his loyal disciples, he let the people follow Jesus. No grudges. No hurt feelings. No bitter feelings. Nakakatawa yun, no? Hindi siya bitter. Samantalang yung ibang tao, di ba? Kapag ka pag nawalan na ng role, pagka natakpan na ng iba, pag may dumating na nabago, at sa kanya na nakatingin ang mga tao, nagiging bitter. But for John the Baptist, no bitter feelings. Okay na ako, dumating na talaga yung magaling. Dumating na talaga yung totoo, yung manliligtas. The real Messiah had come. He simply led the people to Jesus. And for him, it was enough. And he was happy. Today, as I am grateful for the many John the Baptist in my life, those who have brought me to the Lord and continue to do so, you know, there are so many people who still do that. And I am just filled with so much gratitude knowing that even in my stature as a priest, I am still being led to Jesus by the many John the Baptist that the Lord sends my way. And today in this Mass, my dear brothers and sisters, I also invite you to remember people, those who served as John the Baptist in your life. Remember them and thank the Lord for them. I also invite you to ask yourself today, are you also a John the Baptist in the life of others? The Lord Jesus praised John the Baptist for bringing the people to God by preaching repentance. In prayer, let us intercede for the people of the world and their needs as we pray, God of forgiveness, hear us. God of forgiveness, hear us. Let the leaders of the church may continue to call people to turn away from sinful ways. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, hear us. 
that the men and women who are entrusted with authority may make justice flourish in our time. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, hear us. That the poor and the downhearted may hear the good news of salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, hear us. That we may hold on to what is good and avoid every form of evil. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, hear us. That our brothers and sisters who are afflicted of COVID-19, as well as those who are under monitoring and observation, be healed by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, hear us. That the frontliners and the many faceless heroes who risk their lives to combat COVID-19 be protected and strengthened by our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, hear us. That the faithfully departed, especially the souls of Raul, Virginia, Alberto, Leo, Gabriel, Christian, Jovita, Guillermo, Torevic, Norma, Felito, Testimona, Vicente, Elvi, Florentino, Pastora, Bernardo, Conrado, Leoncia, Celso Sr., Laude, Crisanto, Crisanta, Melchor, Perpetua, Rolando, Rogelio, Sofia, Blas, Mario, Reynaldo, Lucrecia, Pablo, Dave, Francis, Julius, Rodolfo, Feliciano, Arlene, Erlinda, Imelda, Mena, Maria Elena, Vicene, Albert, Tomas, Socorro, Jose, and all souls in purgatory may see the salvation of God in His kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. God, forgiveness, hear us. For the special intention of Elson and Vicky Tio, let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, hear us. Birthday Thanksgiving of Rowena Colon. Wedding anniversary and Thanksgiving of Celso Jr. and Hazel Bentulan. Dennis and Alma Madraso. In silence, we now offer our personal and family's intentions. Father, in your love, listen to our prayers and make us like John the Baptist, fearless and humble witnesses of your Son's teaching throughout the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Set our offering and bring the gift of ourselves. Change us and make us holy by the power of your Spirit. Lord, let your Spirit. All as one. Let your spirit dwell in us, transform our hearts and minds. May we who share in this Eucharist be one in the mission of Christ. Inspire us by the power of your Spirit. Change us and make us holy by the power of your Spirit. 
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for He assumed at His first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have saved. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Romulo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, earth as, as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day, day our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation. Your loving mercy be for me, protection in my life. Brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be insulted.
searching, longing for thee. Weary, broken by sin, we seek your face, yearn to be saved. You are Savior of all, Son of God the Most High. You alone bring us hope, healing and strength, mercy and life. Come, Lord Jesus Christ, be with us now. Come and renew us. Come, O Prince of Peace, dwell in our hearts. Come be our way, our true heaven life. Conquer the night, come be our light. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for the Orato Imperato and COVID-19. Altogether, God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion and of those government and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. We also pray for all who died because of this disease. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of all Christians. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsud. Pray for us. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please kneel for the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. the 
sun a set it, word of God forever shall endure. Even God devoutly I adore you, truly present underneath this veil. All my heart subdues itself before you, since it all before you fades and fades. Let us now begin our morning prayer. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Blessed be the holy and immaculate conception. O the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. Prayer to Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament. Blessed are you, Mary, exalted daughter of Zion. You are highly favored and full of grace. For the Spirit of God descended upon you. We magnify the Lord and rejoice with you. For the gift of the Word made flesh, our bread of life and cup of joy. Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament, our model of prayer in the Seneca. Pray for us that we may become what we receive. The body of Christ, your Son. Amen. Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament, pray for us. Prayer in honor of Saint Joseph. O Lord, may the merits of the spouse of your most holy mother assist us, so that what we cannot obtain through our own efforts, we may have through his intercession, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Prayer in honor of Saint Peter Julian Amar. Gracious God of our ancestors, you led Peter Julian Amar, like Jacob in times past, on a journey of faith. Under the guidance of your gentle spirit, Peter Julian discovered the gift of love in the Eucharist, which your Son Jesus offered for the hungers of humanity. Grant that we may celebrate this mystery worthily, adore it profoundly, and proclaim it prophetically for your greater glory. Amen. Saint Peter Julian, a martyr, the apostle of the Eucharist. Pray for us. Prayer for the cause of Venerable Father Ludovico Longari. O Lord, you have called the Venerable Father Ludovico Longari to be a fervent, adorer, and passionate apostle of the Eucharist. Grant that your glory be manifested in him, and by the same grace, through his intercession, we invoke with confidence. O Mary, so honored by Father Ludovico as Immaculate, sustain our prayer. 
Venerable Father Ludovico Longri, intercede for us. We stand our hymn is hymn number 63. We will sing verse 1, 2, and 3. O come, O come, Emmanuel. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Page 52 of the booklets, Thursday Morning Prayer. Stir up your mighty power, Lord. Come to worry. of Israel hear us you who lead Joseph love shine forth from your cherubim throne upon Abraham Benjamin Manasseh O Lord rose up your mind O Lord come to our help God of us bring us back let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. Lord God of hosts, how long will you frown on your people's plea? You have fed them with tears for their bread, an abundance of tears for their dreams. You have made us the taunt of our neighbors, our enemies love us to scorn. God of us, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. You 
brought a vine out of Egypt to plant it you drove out the nations before it you cleared the ground it took root and spread through the land the mountains were covered with its shadow the cedars of God with its bows it stretched out its branches to the sea to the great river it stretched out its shores. then why have you broken down its walls it is blocked by all who pass by it is ravaged by the poor of the forest devoured by the beasts of the field God of all start again we implore look down from heaven and see we seek the vine and protect it the vine your right hand has planted men have burned it with fire and destroyed it May the perish on the throne at your face. May your hand be on the man you have chosen, the man you have given your strength. And we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Some prayer. Lord God, internal shepherd, you so tend the vineyard you planted, that now it extend its branches even to the farthest coast. Look down on your church and come to us. Help us remain in your Son as the branches on the vine that planted firmly in your love. We may testify before the whole world to your great power working everywhere. The Lord has worked marvels for us, making known to the ends of the world. I give you thanks, O oh Lord, through you have been angry with me. Your anger has abated, and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. Be joy, you will draw water. At the fountain of salvation and say on that day, Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations make known His deeds, Proclaim how exalted is His name. Sing praise to the Lord for His glory is achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exaltation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. It was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Bring out your joy to God our strength. Bring 
up your joy to God our strength. Shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Praise the song and sound the timbre, the sweet sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon when the moon is full on our feast. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it is our rule of Joseph when he went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden, your hands were freed from the road. You called in distress and I saved you. I answer concealed in the storm cloud At the waters of Meriva I tested you Listen my people to my warning O Israel, if only you would hear Let there be no foreign god among you No worship of an alien god I am the Lord your God, who brought you from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness apart, to follow their own desire. Oh, that my people would give me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes, turn my hand against their enemies. The Lord's enemies would bring at their feet, and their subjection would last forever. But Israel thou wilt feed with finest wheat And fill them with honey from the rock Glory to the Father and to the Son And to the Holy Spirit As it was in the beginning Is now and will be forever. Amen some prayer lord god open our mouths to proclaim your glory help us to leave sin behind and to rejoice in professing your name A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no God besides me. It is I who, har who arm you, though you know me not. So that toward the rising and the setting of the sun, man may know that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, there is no other. I form the light and create the darkness. I make well-being and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. Let justice descend, O heavens, like dew from above. Like gentle rain, let the skies drop it down. Let the earth open and salvation bud forth. Let justice also spring up. I, the Lord, have created this.
Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. You will see His glory within you. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. I will help you, says the Lord. I am your Savior, the Holy One of Israel. Bless me, the Lord of Israel, the ever-living Lord, who comes in power to save me, so His people, Israel, for Israel, we raise us up, salvation star. and servant of the Lord. Holy prophets did he speak his word in days of old, that he would save us from our foes and all who bear us here. To our ancestors did he give his covenant All he keeps his word in loves that knows no end. Oh, oh, he gave his soul and hope to Father Abraham. He see the mighty rain should be endless forevermore. He vowed to send his people free. From fear of every foe, that we might serve Him all our days in goodness, love, and peace. O tiny child, your name shall be the prophet of the Lord. The way of God you shall prepare to make His coming. Shall wipe away all sins in his redeeming love. The rising sun shall shine on us to bring the light of day to all who sit in darkest night and shadow of the grave. Our Steps God shall safely guide to walk the ways of peace. His name forevermore be blessed, who lives and loves and saves. All glory to the Father ever be, and glory unto His Son, thy glory to Spirit's God's own love in whom we are all made one. For thus it never was in thee before time came to be. So it is now so
Let us pray to God, our Father, who sent His Son to save humankind. And for every prayer, we will say, Show us your mercy, Lord. Show us your mercy, Lord. Father most merciful, we confess our faith in your Christ with our words. Keep us from denying him in our actions, we pray. Show us your mercy, Lord. You have sent your Son to rescue us. Remove every sorrow from the face of the earth and from our country, we pray. Show us your mercy, Lord. Our land looks forward with delight to the approach of your Son. Let it experience the fullness of your joy, we pray. Show us your mercy, Lord. Through your mercy, make us live holy and chaste lives in this world, eagerly awaiting the blessed hope and the coming of Christ in glory, we pray. Show us your mercy, Lord. In silence, let us now include our personal prayers and intentions. Let us now make our prayers complete as we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Almighty Father, Give us the joy of your love to prepare the way for Christ our Lord. Help us to serve you and one another. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please kneel for the blessing. Our morning prayer has been offered. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.